Should you get a master's degree, and specifically in computer science? Well, that's going to be the topic of today's video. My name is Sam. Welcome to my channel. Now, the answer to this question is, it depends. You know, obviously everyone's situation is different. Everyone's background is different. I'm going to start off this video talking about my experience. So if you don't know, I have a master's degree in computer science from Cal Poly San Luis Obispo, and I graduated in 2017. However, my bachelor's degree was from UC Irvine in international studies, so completely unrelated to computer science. So I had worked for a couple of years as a bank teller for Bank of America, um, and in 2013, I really decided that I wanted to make a career change. So I looked at into you know going into law, going into medical, and ultimately I decided that I wanted to pursue a degree in computer science. Now, initially I was like, okay, maybe I'll go and get a bachelor's degree. And since I already had a bachelor's degree, I didn't want to render the one that I had already useless. And you know, all that time and money that I spent would be kind of down the drain because I would have now two bachelor's degree and one that I'm not using. So for me personally, I was like, okay, you know, it's never to, I didn't want to make a lateral move. I wanted to, you know, do the next best thing, which is get a master's degree. So I wanted to take an objective approach to this. And what I did was I made a spreadsheet where I said, okay, if I continue down the current path that I'm on, this is how much I'm going to make for the next five years. So, you know, it was like current salary plus rent, you know, other expenses. And I did like a five year total of that. And then I said, okay, if I go for a degree, this is what I'm going to have to do. You know, I'm going to have to not work. I'm going to have to pay for tuition, books, etc. cetera. Um, I had the opportunity to move back home, so I wouldn't be paying rent. So that made a difference for me. So I think it was like after five years, I would have still made more during my current path. But I think it was after like year seven or something, assuming that I would have like the average of a salary of a software engineer, after like the seventh year, I would have like blown away the other salary and then it would have only gotten more as the time went on. In terms of financially, it, it totally made sense for me to drop out and uh, pursue a degree. Since this was still kind of a new area for me, you know, computer science programming. I didn't even really know what that was. Uh, before I completely dropped out of my job, I actually took a class at a uh, local community college. I took C++ at Santa Monica College just to see if I liked it and, you know, just kind of get a feel for it. And I ended up loving it. You know, I did really well in the class and it kind of just came naturally to me. So after that class was over, I decided to drop, you know, to quit my job. I put my two week notice in and I moved back home to pursue my degree. Now for me, since I didn't have an undergraduate degree in computer science or any type of STEM major, uh, I had a lot of work to do. So what I did was I looked at the requirements that some of the universities needed that I was going for and looked at what the prerequisites were for getting into the master's degree. So I ended up having two years just to take your, you know, your normal like operating systems, computer architecture, software engineering, um, all the different types of math classes like um, discrete math, linear algebra, calc 1, 2, etc. So that took me a couple years. And then finally, I took GRE, you know, filled out all the applications and applied. And I ended up getting into Cal Poly after two years and then, you know, finished in two years there and eventually got a job as a software engineer. So for me, it really made sense to go for this degree just because it was a huge jump in pay. It was something that I knew I enjoyed and the computer science software engineering field um, is only going to continue to grow in the future. Another example is a, a friend of mine. Um, she had a bachelor's degree in math. However, the job market wasn't that great for her. So she ended up getting a master's in computer science and we graduated in the same class and she ended up getting a six figure job at Microsoft. Um, so another example where it makes sense to get a master's degree. Another example is at my university, we have a four plus one program, which is a five year blended bachelor's and master's program. So in my opinion, doing something like that would make sense because it's only one extra year. You already know all the professors. Um, you don't have to fill out an application. So it, in that case, it would really make sense just to spend that extra year to get that master's degree. Now, an example of where I wouldn't recommend getting a master's degree is honestly, if you have a bachelor's in computer science, I really think that that's enough, uh, depending on if, unless you're trying to go, you know, get specialized in something 
or if you really just love taking classes, then I would say, okay, go for it. But I don't really think it's worth it to, you know, unless you're doing it while you're working, which is pretty hard to do. Um, I wouldn't recommend like, you know, quitting work and then going for your master's degree. I don't really think it, you know, taking that pay cut or basically having no salary would justify going for the degree. I would say if your employer is willing to pay for your schooling, it could be worth it. Um, I had a coworker who was working and also uh, going to school for their master's in computer science at the same time. Um, if you're willing to have no life for a little while, then I would say that that could be one option that you could go. Another example is a buddy of mine who was in my computer science grad program. He had a bachelor's in music, so no STEM or computer science degree. Um, he ended up getting an internship at a pretty, pretty solid company and he ended up getting a return offer. So he finished all his units. However, he didn't finish his thesis. So he was like, I'm going to just work and uh, finish my thesis while I'm working. Well, some issues came up and he didn't end up ever graduating. Um, so right now he's working and he has no computer science related degree, bachelor's or master's. Um, and, you know, he's doing fine. So as you can see from these examples, it really depends on you and your situation. And a lot of it depends on your goals. If your goal is to end up at a big like FANG company, a lot of them have a hard requirement of having some kind of degree. Now, usually it's going to be a bachelor's degree um, and they'll have like a master's preferred. So you don't really need a master's in that case. However, you will need a bachelor's in a like computer science computer engineering or software engineering role. I think Google recently cut off their hard requirement of having a degree. However, you have to remember that the people that you're competing with, they're probably all gonna have either at least a bachelor's, if not a master's degree. So the main takeaway from this video is it really depends. Um, if you're trying to make a career change like I did, I think it absolutely makes sense to get a, a degree. And if you already have a bachelor's degree, I highly recommend not getting a second bachelor's and moving forward and getting a master's. However, if you already have a bachelor's in a computer science related field, I really don't see the benefits of going for that master's degree unless you can do it maybe uh, in parallel with, um, with, uh, with your job. And also say there's something maybe specific that you want to get into with research, um, I would say that you could go get a master's. But at that point, it's like if you really are interested in research, you might want to look at getting a PhD instead. All right, guys, that's all I have for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I know this is a really hard decision for some people, so hopefully this helped. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And thank you guys for watching and have a great day.